What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Priscilla. I'm a Nigerian women's wear designer based in the UK. If this is your first time seeing me, hi, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys my filming setup for my sewing tutorials. I don't think this is something I've ever done on my channel, so it only made sense to show you the table I use, tripod, camera, microphone, lights, and even what I use for my voiceover. Now, if you like to find out what these tools are, make sure to keep on watching. I'm going to link all the items I mentioned in the description box down below so if you wanted to grab any for yourself you know where to find them but before we get into this video it has come to my attention that some people have been here one two three four five times and they haven't subscribed why I just like to say it's free like it costs you nothing it's absolutely free make sure to click that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell as well so you know every single week when I have new videos on the channel okay with that being said, let's get into this video. So I'm going to start off with the most important tool, which is my table. This is actually the dining table in my flat, in my living space, and we brought it from our previous place. This table is from Ikea, and it's one of those ones that you can fold these parts in or extend them out to this full length that you have here i find this able to be the perfect length to do patterns to cut fabric although i'm slowly getting to the point where i feel like i need something just a little bit longer and higher because i've heard that tables this low are not good for your back because you're bending over and on the long run i don't think it really be a good thing but this is a table i work with i love the nice brown color because it goes with the other furnitures in my space i'm a huge fan of like natural tones even though i like vibrant colors i don't mind like this shade of brown because it just goes so well with my storage cupboard with the other sideboard I have and like little accents I have in my space. I don't remember how much we bought this table. If I remember, I'll put it on the screen. If I don't, I'll leave it in the description box down below, but that's the first item that I just thought I should mention. So I have swaps to my phone to show you the camera I use. Hi, that's me right there. <laughs> so this is the camera I use and it is a Panasonic camera. I think it's a G5 or the G9. I keep mixing up which exact model it is, but this is the exact camera here. It has a lens that is, I think this is the, this is a 12 to 25. So it has a 12 to 40 millimeter zoom lens by Olympus. That's what it says there. And what that means is I can zoom into 12 and zoom, I can zoom out to, I don't remember what direction it goes, but I can show zoom in and zoom out. George is much better at these technical terms, but from my layman experience, that is the lens that I use. And it just works so well for like getting the bird's eye view that I often use for my tutorials and even to take pictures for my channel. Now you would notice that on top of it, there are two, <gasps> I don't know the, the right name to call this, but we've sort of erected two things here. Now this one is connected to a remote that lets me control the camera from my sitting position and lets me focus. And the other one on top is connected to my lapel mic. Now I would show you those from my camera view, but I just need to explain what these two things were. And this was actually a gift from George and I think got, George got me that as well because he just noticed I needed things like this. So that's the camera and the lens and the other things on top that I often use to create videos for my channel. Okay, so speaking of the remote control adjacent piece that is on the camera, this is what the remote looks like. It just looks like a normal remote, but it has way fewer batteries. And when I click on the button here, it helps the lens to focus on my face or to focus on whatever surface that I want to focus on. Now this 
combination I found very useful when I wanted to create content on my own and I didn't want to keep asking George or somebody to help me. I just wanted to be able to shoot my pictures, shoot my videos, my reels, whatever, myself. And I say if you're working by yourself a lot, please just get this combo. You can get this on Amazon. I think is called is by a brand called Pixu Pro TW2A3 and it has two parts. This part is a remote and the other part goes on your camera and is attached to your camera with a small cord. I highly highly recommend this. Like I've been using this a lot since I got it and I didn't even know how I've been making content up until this thing. Now the other thing I got recently actually for my birthday is the Rode wireless mic. I used to use a lapel mic. Let me see if I will have. So I used to use this, uh, <sighs> let's just call it a retro lapel mic. But this is actually very, this one is still good for like, you know, very tight shots, sit down videos where you are, where you are really close to the camera and you can afford to have a cord this long now if the distance from the camera to use a lot longer this this would not work which is why i got this one which is wireless so this one has two parts i have one on me so you get two mics in the in the box when you buy it you get two mics and then you get a third part that is attached to your camera so it's like a wireless connection now i'm currently using it right now for this video so that's how the audio of this video is being recorded this is just the second one now this one is what i used to use before i got that one but like i said because the distance from the camera and me was so far i needed something that was wireless and bless my husband who just noticed that i actually needed that and he got me the mic the wireless mic set for my birthday i was actually so grateful i got really emotional for some very weird reason like the man just knows how to buy me things that i need even when i don't know i need them so that's the other like gadget type thing i don't know where he got this from i'll probably most likely ask him and share the link down below In terms of tripod, I have been using this Fantia tripod for as long as I've had my channel. It is a work horse. Like this thing has gone everywhere with me and it allows you to swivel up and down using the arm like so. So you can swivel up and down and it allows me to tilt it like downwards like this so I can get my bird's eye view for my tutorials. I would attach the camera here. I'm currently filming the camera, hence why you can't see there. But I would attach my camera here and this thing is just so amazing. It even has a little, just like a little pod here that has, I don't know if it's water, but it lets you know when the camera is straight. Let me see if I can focus and show you guys. Now I let you know when the camera is straight because that white that water thingy in the middle should align with the black circle there. So I always find that very useful as well. It goes really high and lets me get like a very broad space on my table. It also goes really low if I want to film like a sitting down type video. This tripod is I think it's a bit on the pricey side, but we got it years ago, so it might be cheaper now. I'm going to link it down below for anyone who wants to grab this exact one. But yeah, this is the, the main, the main tripod that I use to film my videos. Hello, I've had to lift you guys up so you can I can show you the lights that I use. I use a combination of three light sources. This one, the second one by my editing desk and natural light because there's a big window here just facing my table where I normally film. Now this one here is by Aperture. I think it's the Amaran H528S. This one you are able to reduce the brightness and then also increase the brightness. So it goes from 100, it goes from 99% to 1%. So if you have the flexibility to control how bright the light is. The second one allows you to change the warmth, which is more yellow, or it may, can make the light cooler, which is a bit more blue light. So depending on what daylight looks like or the mood you are going for in your video or your pictures my second light allows you to do that now both lights were gotten from amazon i find that i always need 
a balance of good light to really light up the table or the subject or myself or whatever i'm trying to capture because let's face it like social media is so competitive these days that your work just has to be really like way up there to even compete with anybody else now competition is good competition is healthy because it makes you like stay on your toes you don't just put out any kind of like mediocre work and it also like inspires you to like improve your skill and be better so competition is good it does not always have to be a bad thing okay so having good quality high quality clear evenly lit content is very very important to me and uh, i don't take it for granted these days the light looks crap it always affects the um, the performance of the content at the end of the day so yeah i highly recommend investing in one or two good lights whether you're into fashion beauty makeup lifestyle whatever it is it just helps the entire picture the entire video to look a lot better if you don't have natural light to work with now the other thing with natural light is it's a cloudy day like this so i'm lucky if it was a sunny day the light will go up the sun will come out the sun will go away so it affects like the brightness of the video because it will be shifting up and down up and down and that can be annoying to watch a video like that sometimes people don't mind but i personally i just find it annoying when i'm watching the video and the light is just dipping in and dipping out so that's your that's the disadvantage of natural light even though you get it for free it's really great on the skin i find natural light on my skin always looks amazing but you cannot always control it so make do what you have and invest in some lights if you can this is the second light that i use this is by falcon eyes and that is a model there that is where you get to control the warmth and the brightness of the light so you can make it darker you can dim the light as it's doing now you can also take it back up make it really bright you can also increase and increase the warmth so you can make it like really yellow like it's going now or you can make it a lot cooler like it's changing now i always like to have um my the light set on cool i've just found it because i found that i like it that way because it makes the the walls look as white as possible which is always a great contrast against my brown table or the garment that i'm trying to show off last but certainly not least is this apparatus here which allows me to do the voiceovers for my tutorials or for any kind of content that i want to voice over on now this has a microphone here i think it's a samsung microphone and then around it is this purple we just call it the egg because it looks like an egg um, and what this allows me to do and what this helps me do is isolate my voice and blocks out noise from the road or from my neighbors or any other noise from the background that i don't want to be recorded into the microphone i used to use my headphones before but with headphones i found that it picked up a lot of background noise that i did not want hence why we have this yet another thing hobby bought for me because he knows where to find them at good price and um really good quality now this i we have mounted on top a tripod of its own so it just stays there and once i've edited a video i will just pull it a bit closer to me and then use it to record the voice over for the tutorial we always have it in this side of the room so when people would come into the space they always go oh what is that 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 looks like it belongs in the recording studio or something and oftentimes i've seen this in um recording studio for musicians and people who make music or background songs or background like tracks they would often have something like that to reduce the noise or any other sound that they don't want to travel into the microphone there i'm going to link all of this down below the microphone the egg because i don't know the correct name to call it if you guys know let me know in the comment section down below that as well the camera tripod all that good stuff if there's anything i forgot to show i feel like i showed everything though 
because I actually don't have a lot of equipment and I like it that way because I'm not a very techy person so if there's anything I forgot to show please let me know down below if there's anything you're curious about let me down let me know down below as well in the comment section but I just thought this would be useful information for someone who is looking to you know either get into filming tutorials or just wondering what I use to make mine because I've often been asked what camera do you use what lights what tripods and here i am giving you all the tea because i care honestly and there is nothing wrong in us growing and thriving together and that's it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed watching i hope you found the tips and gadgets and any other info useful as well give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching the video share it to anyone that you think will find it useful or helpful to watch in any way if there's any other gadget that you think we should be using to make our content game a plus plus share in the comment section down below as well if there's any other questions suggestions or ideas that you have for the channel or any other like topics you want me to cover in terms of content creation please let me know as well in the comment section down below i would have been said until my next video have a good morning afternoon and evening wherever you are bye